This week, I'm going to talk you through the steps that I used to diagnose the misfire in my 2002 BMW 540i. So I've owned this car for about two months now, and it's idled rough ever since I got it. But under load, it was perfectly fine, so I assumed it was something small, like maybe a vacuum leak. I changed out all the spark plugs just to see if that would fix it, and it made it slightly better. I went from having misfire codes on several cylinders down to just a slight issue at idle. Last night, it went from working perfectly fine to the point where the ECU shut down the fuel on cylinder number six. So I decided I'd diagnose that this morning and see what happens. On modern cars, the first step to diagnosing the problem starts inside the car. Using one of these Bluetooth OBD2 readers, you can plug it into the OBD2 port down under the dash. And using an app or light, you can read whatever engine code is causing the problem. In my case, I have a misfire on cylinder number six. So now that we know what the problem is and what cylinder our misfire is on, let's go see if we can figure out what's causing it. So if you have a misfire, it could be one of several things. It could be the coil, it could be the injector, it could be the plug, and it could be a vacuum leak causing a lean condition right next to the entrance to the cylinder. So the first thing I did was switch ignition coil number six to cylinder five, and then ignition coil number five to cylinder six to see if the misfire from cylinder six followed the ignition coil. If it did, it was the ignition coil. If it did not, the next step would be the plugs. And if moving the plug and the ignition coil didn't solve it, I would check for a vacuum leak. And if none of those things seem to be the problem, it might be a clogged injector. One of the easiest ways to check for a vacuum leak is using some sort of flammable liquid, like carb cleaner, throttle body cleaner, something of that nature. And you'll spray it wherever there's a vacuum leak. If the vacuum leak is present, it'll pull in the flammable liquid and the engine will run slightly different for a split second. And wherever you find the different running spot, that's where your vacuum leak is. So after switching the two ignition coils, the misfire moved from cylinder six to cylinder five, telling me that the problem is the ignition coil. I've got an ignition coil on order, so once I get that ignition coil in from Amazon, I'll install that. If our code goes away, our misfire is fixed. So our new Bosch ignition coil has come in the mail. So let's install it, fire her up, and see if that fixes our problem. So after changing out that ignition coil, we have no check engine light. I ran a check with the torque app and have no codes. The engine runs nice and smooth. We'll take it out on a test drive to confirm everything, but it's looking good. All right, so here we are on our test drive. We've got the torque app running on my phone, which is reading information off the OBD2 port. So while we're here at the stop sign, we'll check for engine codes. Go up here to fault codes, check pending faults, and nothing comes up. Going logged fault codes, and still nothing. So now when we come to a complete stop here, it idles, we've got no hiccups, no felt sensation in the car. So I think we fixed our misfire. So it's that easy. Just diagnose the problem, follow a few simple steps, and you can save yourself a lot of money by taking this car to a mechanic. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next week.